Well, good morning, everyone. Today I'm on location here at Pleasant Hill Park, and this is my kind of second visit. Um, I did a little pre scouting, um, just merely just driving by and uh, you know, parking the car and all that, and just kind of quickly check out the trail um, with no real camera, you know, involved at all. So, but uh, this is my first real proper visit. And so yeah, in total, the park uh, encompasses about 37 acres. There are actually gonna be some various additions and expansions to the trails here because I guess it is something of a newer park. Um, but from what I can tell, it looks pretty cool. They're gonna have a uh, restored wetlands if it isn't already finished um, by the time I'm here today. Um, there's also some of these great uh, gravel kind of just paved paths. And um, there's a small playground over there, but of course I'm not really caring about that today. Um, and there's some meadow and stuff over there. I'm really looking forward to check out this tree line and this corridor over here, just all the woodland over here. Um, it looks like a very beautiful just kind of mini kind of woods and forest over there. And it looks like you can line up with the trail and border, you know, just wraps around the entire part of the woods there. Um, so that, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but, you know, for now I'm just on this uh, more gravelly kind of style uh, path and just seeing where it takes me. Um, but you can park on either end of uh, the north and south end. Um, I parked on the north end, and it looks like over here is actually where it takes you to some neighborhoods and everything. So that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, I'm just need to be checking out these new locations and just seeing uh, what they have to offer. Um, like I said, it's, it's not too big of a park. Um, the trail in total is about, I think it's about three fourths of a mile, um, at least that wrapped around Woodland Trail down there. Uh, and then beyond that, I mean, not too much else, but it's a real sunny day as you can tell, um, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, it just means it's going to be harder, to, trickier to get some exposures and such. Um, but, you know, I'm going to make the most of it. And probably for today, I'm going to be focusing mainly on bird photography um, since landscapes are just going to be... Um, I'm not really too sure about my motivation doing that um, unless if I converted them to black and white later on in production. Um, but so I'm going to try out birding this place because I do feel like this might be a small kind of nice beautiful kind of natural green space uh, for birding itself. Uh, it looks like here is the dead end, as you can see. So it takes you back out to this road. So I'm going to turn around now. Like I said, it's a very small park, um, so I'm really not sure how much I'm really going to be seeing. But um, yeah, I'm pretty much just going to take my time and uh, just walk real slow along the trails and um, hopefully get some bird shots, like I said. So let's go ahead and get started here. All right, so I just got some, probably my best shots ever of a northern flicker, uh, a yellow shafted uh, specifically, a northern flicker. And yeah, I'm just so excited. That was actually pretty good. Nice blue sky behind it. Just some green foliage that's kind of out of focus in the foreground. Just kind of create that pleasing aesthetic and showing just early spring as you know, all the leaves come back on the deciduous trees, of course. But yeah, just a nice, beautiful side profile view. Um, I really enjoyed that look. And um, yeah, it was just nice to get these close up of this woodpecker that's so elusive, at least elusive to my camera that is. See, I'm really glad about that. Um, I've got a handful of those shots. Um, look like they're actually pretty tack sharp and uh, thankfully not overexposed because it's pretty common when it's really sunny like this uh, for me to just completely forget my camera settings and exposure and not having that dialed in. So it just creates a just overexposed mess, but everything looked very, very nice. And since the sun was positioned uh, front lighting this bird, at least on the side profile view, um, at least on the side that I was on, that meant that I had this beautiful catch light. There's a small little white dot inside the eye, so that way it just, you know, makes a nice look to it, um, that nice reflection in the eye. Um, just really, it really adds that little bit, adds a lot to a photograph, I think, of a bird or, or any kind of animal or, you know, mammal or anything, really. Um, so anything with eyes, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm really glad to get those shots. They look really nice. Um, that's a really nice way to just start the morning off here on a good note, I think, and I'm really happy with, I think, how they turned out, hopefully, so can't wait to share them with you. But um, other than that, um, I've just been hearing lots of, I think up to 10, 11 species so far. Um, keep hearing lots of yellow rumped warblers. You just heard right there, actually. Yeah, so they're really close by. And I'm hoping we might get some eye level perch kind of shots. Um, that's a warbler that's pretty, pretty easy, I'd say, to photograph and view, um, just because they're so ever abundant, and um, they're probably one of the hardiest species of warbler that come through Ohio here in migration, and uh, especially in spring migration, because they, they last throughout the entire summer even, 
and um, I think they go back about October, um, maybe even November for some of the hardy hardiest individuals. Yeah, it's um, pretty nice out. I'm just hearing lots of different bird song, um, some house finches. Um, I saw a little field sparrow down here, and just kind of the, the grass and the brush there. Um, but he was he eluded my camera, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, just just a nice morning out here. It's actually a lot more to this park now that I'm looking at it, and I'm still along this uh, this gravel uh, path over here. And so yeah, I haven't made my way over to the woodland. But as I imagine, there's probably tons of woodpeckers. Uh, more of them, like the flicker I just saw over here. But over here just seems like more like almost like a kind of wet woods almost because there's some kind of dry standing uh, water over here as well um, so yeah there's a lot more to this park than you can imagine if you don't you know if you take the time to really stop and you know look at the places and locations around you you know there's a lot there's a lot out there you don't have to go out very far away to find beautiful locations and take amazing photographs so i'm probably gonna hang out here for a little bit longer uh, just see if any birds you know come my way and just kind of just stand here and listen. I feel like that's most of bird watching is really just um, standing, just being calm, present, and still, and just listening to all the different bird song around you, and just yeah, pick up on different you know visual and you know audio, auditory cues, I guess, and you know seeing what's out there. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna keep going here, and um, after you know hang out here for a few, I'm gonna keep going and then go along that kind of more meadowed and uh, woodland you know area down the road there. So, I will see you in a little bit. Alright, so to recap, um, at least this first part of the trail um, here in this kind of woodland here, um, it's pretty good, pretty good so far. Not too many shots. I got some silhouetted uh, shots of a robin. They actually look pretty nice though, because it had a nice bouquet and nice dropped out background and everything. Um, but even though I was keeping it what the camera, in camera uh, metering system thought would be perf uh, properly exposed, um, didn't quite turn out that way. Um, so it made the, pretty much compensated for the really bright and over. Uh, bright highlights of the background and made it so that the robin and everything was supposed to be even exposed but the robin was silhouetted but anyways since I've gone into the woods here it's very beautiful um, just on its own I could see lots of uh, potentially maybe some landscape shots in the future um, maybe a, a later visit down the road and probably a more preferable light than it is right now um, but yeah it's just so beautiful over here um, tons of bird song as, as usual I'm uh, being consistent as it is um, it's, it's really weird because I've seen the, the flickers in particular have been very, very, um, let's, I guess you could say approachable because they've just been on these eye level tree branches um, and these just, you know, standing, lone standing trees out here in the middle of this kind of woods and, you know, combined mixed woods and prairie, and, or not really prairie, but meadow, kind of close to that, I'd say. Um, but yeah, anyways, yeah, they've just been really um, just outgoing, I guess, in that regard. So I've been seeing them, you know, pretty close up and everything. but. Hearing lots of different species, um, had a uh, mimic species, the northern mockingbird, which is really cool. Um, just giving off tons of different rattling off these different calls and noises and stuff. And at first I really didn't know what it was. I thought it was a warbler of some type because I'm not too well versed in all my warbler species and their uh, songs and calls, but you know, it was just hard to tell overall. And so, um, yeah, I just kind of kept listening to more and I play back, um, at least into my ear, some some different uh, Northern Mockingbird songs and different calls they would make. And it definitely sounded like one. Um, and then it flew away, of course. So I really didn't get a good close look at it this time, but you know, that's totally okay. Um, so yeah, I'm actually about 22 species now. So it's pretty good. I think it's really good. Um, you know, it could be more of course for spring, but you know, this park's really nice. And the farther I go down into this woodland trail, the more I'm just seeing uh, more of it and how far it goes. And yeah, this place is, this place is pretty incredible for being situated in between a neighborhood and everything like I could just definitely see lots more uh, birding potential in the future and landscapes like I said so a nice beautiful sunrise I think over here in this woods would just be just hit the spot just right and I think it'd be really nice but yeah it's been pretty good so far um, in terms of plant life it's just 
more of the same, but it's it's unfortunately a very weedy and invasive species. As you can probably see behind me, tons of garlic mustard. I think most of what's here on the woodland floor um, and the understory is just all garlic mustard. Um, I'm seeing also some invasive butterweed, uh, which is it's kind of like in this uh, the same family as the ragwort family, and uh, which is also kind of invasive and non-native, of course. And then some dead nettles, which are a weed that are also pretty invasive, and uh, they can just overtake, you know residential yards and even places like this alike um, so not much there not much of any kind of beautiful and rare uh, kind of wildflowers or anything so I'm kind of glad I focus on birds today especially for a smaller location such as this um, but yeah it's like I'm making the way around I really don't know how far out this goes I mean I do because like I said it's about three fourths three fourths of a mile um, but I'm not really sure where it stops oh yeah I got some nice kind of meadow over here yeah this place is really cool this place i wonder if it gets this name because it's you know pleasant hill but um yeah it's really cool see now i'm exiting the woods over here and you have some kind of just low-lying grasses on both sides and uh kind of turns into this really dirt path and um yeah i'm gonna see where it goes from here and uh i'll get back to you if i see any other birds or anything else kind of cool around here I just want to thank you all so much for watching today's video. Um, I actually got 26 species total, um, both heard and seen. Um, and I think that's a pretty complete checklist. There's a lot of like flyover birds, um, and some of them I can't quite identify, um, at least from my own knowledge, at least from based off the wing beats um, or their shape or structure. But I seem to get pretty much all of them, at least all that I can really, you know, figure out, I guess. But yeah, 26 species, that's pretty good. Um, but that's a pretty typical number, even higher than that, you know, 30s and 40s um, for a typical uh, mid-spring day like it is right here with migration. But um, the highlights were actually, I just heard a little bit ago behind me here, a prairie warbler. Um, that would be my first of the season, which is awesome. Um, I only heard it. It's probably way off the distance, I think, over there um, by that tree line behind me. Um, way off in the distance. Um, but you know, it's pretty cool to hear that at least. It's a, that's a more fairly common warbler um, in really scrubby kind of habitat. Um, and not so much prairies, but yeah, just more like scrubby, uh, kind of grassland, almost habitat like this. And they hang out in the trees and everything. So that's pretty cool. Um, the other highlights are a, let's see what else, the, the mockingbird, of course. Um, immediately after that last speaking bit, um, I got some really good close-ups of Song Sparrow um, that were just right there. I did some a couple of pish calls just to kind of attract, it, attract its attention. And it got on this uh, fallen, this felled tree trunk. And it was just right here, like a few feet away. And it was like almost too close for 600 millimeters. But I mean, the close-ups and just the clarity and the depth of it. And, you know, I got this tack sharp focus. The beautiful, once again, catch light in its eye. is looking off to the side. I framed it all perfectly on this nice thick uh, tree or trunk or log or whatever. And um, yeah, just so, just front lit. Oh, everything was just like perfect about it. Easy exposure. Um, just with that plentiful sunlight coming in now and so those are probably some of the best uh, sparrow shots I've ever taken or honestly best bird shots I think ever taken um, so I'm really really happy with those can't wait to go home and edit those as well so I got a handful of those just framing it up in different ways um, the one thing about pitching though is that you know it, it kind of stresses out the bird at least it can certain individuals I've noticed and so it, you take some shots if you take some some of the shots early on you may notice the crest, you know, kind of raised up pretty high because it's being more like attentive and alert 
um, to whatever it's hearing, you know, its surroundings and its presence. Um, so I, I got a couple of shots of that, um, but you know, it's just it looks look looks a little more like cautious and concerned, and maybe a little bit stressed. And so I waited a few more moments, um, and luckily it didn't fly away. It was still more curious, but then it lowered its its headrest or its crest, and um, started just kind of calming down. And that's when I got some more natural poses out of it, which looked really nice. And so yeah, I really liked how they looked um, overall, and um, yeah, just can't really complain about that. But like I said, 26 species total. And um, I really wish this robin would shut up. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, I really liked how they turned out. And um, yeah, it's been a nice visit here. I really like this place. It's really cool for uh, spring migration. Like I said, it's just in between these two neighborhoods, like sandwiched in between. And you wouldn't expect much of it, but I mean, I got some amazing just shots of different kinds of birds, more common stuff, um, year-round residents for Ohio here. But you know, I even heard and seen um, some warblers and everything, migratory species, which is pretty awesome. So, you know, there's lots of these tall stands of trees and kind of the sparse, just grassland out here in the meadow. Um, so yeah, it's just a really beautiful location overall. It's very, very small. You can run through it a couple loops if you, you know, so choose to and uh, get it done real quick. But, you know, 26 species and I spent about an hour here. So that's, that's pretty good, I'd say. It's really good, I think. You know, 26 species in an hour, uh, different ones, but Anyways, I'll leave it at that. Um, I believe that's all I really have to say about it. So yeah, I really enjoyed my morning out here, and I hope you did too. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. This has been Pleasant Hill Park, and until next time, make sure you get out here. Thank you.